for the best part of an hour, Bradford were holding their own against a Swindon side on a three-match winning streak. But when Andrew Davis went through the back of Jake Jervis, the omens didn't look good. Referee Oliver Langford in no mood to mess around, and determined to argue his case, Davis continued to plead his innocence. He might regret not leaving the field sooner. But Paolo Di Canio's men failed to make the most of the Yorkshire club's misfortune. West Ham low knee Christian Montano going close in what proved to be a frustrating afternoon. And failed to make the breakthrough against 10 man Bradford, with Christian Montano coming closest to breaking the deadlock. Chris Spittles for the West Country tonight. Bradford paid their first visit to the county ground in six years. The Batons were desperate to avoid a third consecutive away defeat, having come into this fixture just a point clear of the relegation zone. In contrast, Swindon had moved into the playoff places after three straight victories, but they struggled to produce their best form. Matt Duke wasn't really tested there by Aidan Flint. The city keeper was made to work that much harder though when he kept out a fierce free kick from Paul Canis as Bradford continued to keep the Robins at bay. The Bantams had Andrew Davis back from a three-match ban after his dismissal against Torquay, but the on-loan Stoke City player was sent off again after taking out Jake Jervis. The visitors were forced to play more than half an hour with only ten men, but Phil Parkinson's side defended admirably. Liam Moore got back in the nick of time to prevent Christian Montano from scoring the winner. Swindon failed to make the most of their numerical advantage and had to settle for a point.